Hello everyone. In today's video, I will review the best 3T Explorer Race Max Boost Review. 3T takes the aero gravel concept to the extremes, going ultra with the Exploro. Its original explorativeness was a pioneer when it was developed. It offers clearance for 700 mm wide knobby tires to suit a broad range of conditions and a carbon fiber frame set that was shaped for aerodynamic efficiency and road-like handling. Original, the report calls for the city to ban single-use plastic bags, single-use styrofoam containers, and disposable plastic straws in a bid to protect the environment. Paraphrase, the study called for the city to ban single-use plastic bags, single-use styrofoam containers, and disposable plastic straws in order to protect the environment. Explore was a 3T's experimental bike. It was not meant to be marketed as a road bike like the bike it was inspired from, Specialized Venge. It should be more of an off-road bike. The Exploro Race Max is a close cousin to the newer Exploro Ultra. The latest model of the Exploreo is concentrating on the off-road end. As a result of this, the clearance is raised on 650B wheels. The increase is from 51mm to 60mm, and the 46mm it was raised to. The, in the 3T Exploro Ultra is definitely very capable, but it also feels a little conflicting. The head tube is narrower, the headset bearings are smaller and the head tube is shorter, narrower up top to match up with the airflow coming off of the front tire and flared further down to divert air around water bottles. But whereas the Race Max's down tube was 50mm wide at the head tube, the Ultra is even bigger at 60mm, both are 75mm at their widest point. The Ultra's bike came out of the same mold as the TDF Domain. The chainstays are shorter than the TDF Domain, and the seat stays are shortened a bit as well. The new random seat post is a round shape. U-shaped seat tube is still the same. Speaking of routing, we haven't seen that we use the Ultra with the odd position port in the top tube. Down below is a BB386 EVO press fit bottom bracket shell and filled with thread together cups to minimize any creaking issues. Your bicycle comes with three bottle mounts. It also has a feed bag mount on the top tube, as well as front and rear fender mounts. You don't get a cargo mount on the frame. The step down tube is a key feature on the Exploro Ultra. 3T is offering the Exploro frame in different sizes and a complete bike for around 1,100 pounds minus 1,300 pounds with the option to select between a 54 centimeter and 58 centimeters in seam. Tire clearance up front is just as good as it is out back. Kudos to 3T for positioning the brake hose port such that it doesn't rub on the head tube. To be clear, my pressures are lower than I run on my trail bike, but I'm also not hitting terrain that's quite as demanding or as fast. Even at slightly higher pressures, the Exploro Ultra is a fast riding tire, though it's not a prime candidate for foam tire inserts. Sometimes I go on a normal bike and it's always a struggle to maintain traction. But sometimes on my Ultra, I can just keep seated and grind it out. On the uphill it's always fast and loose, but on the downhill it's slow and chunky, with lots of bars. Once at the top the initial descent is fast and loose, but the rest has a gentle grade and it's slow. The dropper post definitely lends some extra confidence and capability on gnarlier terrain. But the Explorator is all-inclusive if you take advantage of the dropper seat post. It makes quick work of various terrain features, and the whole experience is punctuated with lots of giggle and giggles. Not surprisingly, given the sizes of the tubes, the Exploro Ultra is a very rigid frame. It is not a girder, but a beam. At higher tire pressures, the Exploro Ultra has less comfort than a girder. One of the most interesting parts about the 3T handlebar for me is that it doesn't have a flare. It has drop-drop bars that go from being very wide to more normal. It has a comfortable handlebar stem.